All right, we're going to just begin now and we'll see how it goes. <coughs> as we begin, we're allowing ourselves, as the souls that we are, the solar conscious, the soul not the way that it was necessarily taught by churches, because there's been quite a lot of distortion in a lot of religions, but at the same time, a lot of religions have been a feeble attempt to remind people that there are higher worlds. So all of us now have had a, a brief experience that we already are the higher world. We already are the higher world. But it's kind of like in wartime, somebody might be in Vietnam and then they've left somebody behind. They have to go back in and rescue that person. So we're not here to rescue so much, but we have agreed to come back and be instruments of expansion. Instruments of knowing a higher order exists. So today, Gaia, Mother Gaia, wants to speak to each of us about that reality. And it is a reality. Everything we eat and drink and wear originally came from Mother Earth's body. She's the big closet. She has allowed us to use her body and do whatever we wanted with it to provide what we needed to walk as human beings, walking with the illusion that we were not Mother Earth's body. But this physical form is an Earth body. Indeed, this physical form is Mother Earth. And now, this Gaia consciousness wants us to know from the super core of her being, and we don't speak of the physical core of her being, the physicalization of the consciousness of Gaia, the physicalization of the consciousness of Earth, heart. That's what Earth is. It's the heart planet. And her body is the physicalization of love. Ponder that for a moment. The physicalization of love. Now, as human beings, living in our individual lives and our individual stories, we believe the physicalization of love is putting a roof over our children's head or feeding them good quality food. But that's what she does all the time to everybody. Even if apparently the images of death and destruction and starvation appear to be that mother is doing that. That is not the truth. Mother is not doing that. Mother Earth is lifting in her purpose as well which is to lift into a higher vibrational body. And the conflicts that we are seeing, the destruction that we are seeing, the scrambling that is going on to lasso humanity to stay in a lower life form is what's playing out simultaneously. What is playing out is Gaia is graduating to a higher dimensional body. Now, as we just saw in our pictures of the soul, that body is already there. But that body is the body that Earth is going to become. And this is why we live in the transitory time now where our light bodies are being able to be experienced, felt, and we are simultaneously being the bridge between that fifth dimensional energy body that is already existing. Indeed, when you leave, you often go to a higher dimension and then you go, think I'll go back and learn this. 
This time you are learning, but more importantly now, this time you are going to be being the frequency of the higher forms of love that are coming to earth. So from the mother, we speak now. You are not ants walking around. You are humans. You have an apparatus in your brain that allows you to experience creatorship. Creatorship. And this experience of creatorship has happened and then in the development of the egoic mind that has also simultaneously developed as humans came from the ocean and then became into a mammal body and now the mammal bodies are becoming light bodies. There is a temporary, what we would say, blockage happening in your creatorship. And this is coming from the mechanism of the egoic process, which has begun to believe that it is separate from all life. Even when you hear that, we encourage you to start laughing at that because that is very infantile to believe that you are separate from all life and indeed to ask your identity to only live that truth out. It's like asking one piece of hair to pretend it doesn't be it belong in a head of hair or one cell to pretend it doesn't belong in a body. Now, as your mother, a manifestation of master creatorship based on love, based on love, we are now, as the mother impulse, returning back to the graveyard of the children who are dying in separation. In some ways, this pulse of electromagnetic energy coming to the earth is coming to force humanity to realize they are all life. Now, at this point, the egoic mechanisms of many, many individuals believe they are controllers of life. But life is it really controlled? We understand in your world the idea that you can control when you live or die. It's just another egoic manifestation of trying to pretend that you are not life manifested in form with an illusion of separation and that you by yourself are completely separate from everything else that is. Now, we feel for you as the mother, we feel for the delusion that you are having to live through now. But it is that, beloved. It is a delusion. Does it mean you're crazy? No. It means that you are moving out of the delusion, the distortion that your ego complex and this individual form that you are is somehow not a part of the evolutionary pulse that this planet has to evolve and not be the dumping ground of selfish people. Because in some ways, as you all can see, a lot of the manifested forms on the planet are manifested forms of selfishness. Self. Individuated forms. Now, we know those forms can coagulate. Like the cancer cells can coagulate. And then it's not just one selfish cell. It's a much bigger selfish cell. And it might be a selfish cell that becomes an organ or a body or a whole body. But these times that you are living through 
are times that have been predicted. And I, as the mother principle, as the consciousness of the evolutionary turning of the will that is occurring on this planet, not simply in the form of physicality that you live upon and pretend you are masters of, I, as the mother principle, am here to remind you, become a part of earth, not separate from earth, but become with her because she is going to take you into the higher evolutionary turn. You will be doing it in your body, but you will be doing it through your spirit body. And so this is the great conflict that many of you are feeling. You feel it's like if you have a coffee and the cream rises to the top, you want to just have the cream and then the coffee separate. The separation is ending. There is a bridge now and you and your souls and many millions and millions and millions and millions and millions, millions despite numbers that you hear about the billions of souls that are starving despite what you hear about the millions of people fighting many many souls are here to become part of the evolutionary pulse of the planet you are loved we encourage you to get out of your heads with all the tables and statistics of what is and what should be, you have no idea how great the future on this planet will be. Will it be in your lifetime? No. But you are the pioneers and have been over many lives to embody it much deeper into the physicalization of the form to carry it, as we have told this channel, so that when you are in the trenches, and there are many trenches, when you are in the trenches, when you see the hungry people, when you see it, that you can still be a radiant force of possibility and not simply reflect and project back the illusion of separation. This is the best thing the earth is about. She willingly materializes a form that allows you to have incredible diversity and beauty. Everything you need. Indeed, there are factions, fractions of the whole that want to dominate the whole and believe she is, what we would say, a resource center. And she is. But she is a resource center for solar evolution. Not simply to build houses. She is a resource center for the species of humanity to return to the enlightened forms from which they came. So she will be getting much lighter. So a lot of the denser forms that have materialized are surfacing up, just like when a big rain comes, all the yucky stuff that's in the trenches comes to the surface. And you can say, we want it out of here. We don't want to see it. Let it come up. Say, Thank you for cleansing this out of the very small core of the crust of the earth, mother, because we know that you are the true center of heart, the mother of heart. Each of you is being asked to be a mother of heart now. No matter what body you walk in, to become a mother of the heart able to love other people, able to offer a love to them, even if they're in tragic choice making, even if they're the grossity of selfishness, to still forgive them and beam the bridge between this world and the higher fifth world 
that the earth is evolving to. You may be dismayed at the pollution. You may be dismayed at the water quality. You may be dismayed at the grossity of the other life forms on your planet, such as the animals. But we assure you, there are many humans living like animals in pens. Many people living worse than the chickens in a free range pasture. But do we want you to focus on that? No, not to focus on it, but to know it is manifesting as a materialized form and only with higher consciousness will things of this sort stop. It is only with higher consciousness that practices that are so foul can stop. So this is your task when you see that soul to be the consciousness, knowing you have lived before, knowing you were in a time, you might think, oh, I graduated from the 12th grade, I'm done. No, you're not. Mm -hmm. You're not graduated yet. But most of you have lived many times. So when your minds really start going down that rabbit hole that lets you go under the earth to the warrens and all the thoughts, let your mind go to that light body that is wanting to operate through you to guide your tongue, to guide your vision, to guide where you put your money, to guide how you see another. All right. <laughs>